Hey everybody, it's me. It's Saturday night and it's about time to get ready for the Big Bash blowout at 9 o'clock. I just had a little bite to eat uh, in the cafe with Tony and her husband Jim and her best friend Amy and her other best friend Dom and her daughter and her daughter's partner and Marie and her husband Marie Signio or whatever. Anyway, it was delightful. Uh, it's been a full day. The speeches, the, the talks today were phenomenal. Next year, I mean, I can't even imagine. They're inspiring. We heard like five or six different speakers. You could come and go as you please during the day. You could go see the vendors. You could sit back in and hear a speaker. Uh, you could have an appointment with Dr. Katzen, uh, which I did. And I just wanted to tell you, it, it, it was just a wonderful day. I just got up um, before dinner and um, saw uh, Banded Wendy give her talk. It was phenomenal. It was all about exercise and motivation. It was brilliant. Um, I'm sure these must have been getting taped uh, to, to eventually go on something. So hopefully you'll get to see Wendy's talk. Of course, it's Wendy through and through, uh, inspiring, motivational, and brilliant um, about the benefits of exercise and having a plan. Uh, and earlier in the day, I saw Yvonne McCarthy McCarthy speak. She was wonderful. Uh, that's bariatric girl. And then we've got um, Carrie spoke and that it, she's formerly um, known as uh, bariatric Barbie. Um, she was very wonderful. They were they were just wonderfully uplifting and motivating, succinct, um, well put together. I mean, it, oh, and um, another girl, Laura Preston, who has quite an interesting story and another beautiful woman who used to be like the rest of us, big as a house. I mean, these women, you see them and you go, oh, they're too pretty. You know, they're too perfect. You know what? They were us. They were just us. And they got thin and they made the best of their appearance and they're fabulously entertaining, wise, witty, wonderful women. You know, uh, you can't fault a person for wanting to be their best self. And that's what it's all about, or we wouldn't all be doing this. So, on that note, next year, when you're here in Vegas with us, you'll get to see some other wonderful speakers. Oh, and Rose. Rosemary gave her, her first real talk. It was fabulous. Just fabulous about maintenance, hell. They call it hell. And she had a little acronym for hell for everything that, that had to do with maintenance. Um, I missed a couple of people in between because, quite honestly, I thought, I need to go back and take a shower and feel clean and put on at least one coat of makeup. And then I went back down to hear Wendy. Then I went to dinner. And then I've run upstairs to see Rosemary. Um, and she's putting her makeup on in Fern's apartment upstairs on the um, the top floor. Um, I'm going to get dressed and go up myself. But I wanted to let you know that uh, Dr. Katzen, uh, I had an appointment with him today. It was fabulous. He is less expensive than my doctor outside of Washington, D.C., near my home. And I did an appointment with him in February. Y'all know that because I kind of did a little understanding of what you look for in a bariatric, you know, uh, reconstructive surgeon and kind of things. Dr. Katzen's a doll baby. What a kind and gentle human being. I mean, you know a good guy when you see a good guy. He's a really gentleman. No glad hand, no slap you on the back, no slick, no nothing. A really genuinely nice human being. We had some things in common. He was raised in the county that I live in now, next the county next to me in Fairfax. Went to Fort Hunt High School. His parents lived there. His parents lived in different places. They live in Virginia still. Um, and so he went to MCV to uh, medical school. And uh, which is in Richmond and being a native Virginian I know all these things and we, we had a nice chat he is gonna do more than the other doctor was gonna do for less money what we discussed was and gladly so that when you have thighs like mine you can't just do a lower body lift and expect real results because my thighs are my biggest issue so he's gonna do something where you do a, a, a circumvental or trans whatever cut and, and so you can pull, like, instead of just, like, yanking up, you cut. This is my leg I'm talking about, but my arms will be done, too. And then you, here, I'll just show you. Here's the thing. You don't just pull. I mean, that doesn't do but so much for your leg because you can only stitch it up so high. But he will actually cut and, you know, all the extra stuff you have here will be taken away. 
And that's a very specific procedure that not everybody will do. And you really have to know what you're talking about to do that. So that and everything else, uh, breast augmentation, arms done, body lift, and the circumventral thigh thing, um, two different procedures, I mean separate procedures, uh, three months apart, which my plan was to do this over the whole next year anyway. I'd like to have it done maybe before Christmas. Uh, or at least easily by next summer or the next meet and greet um, is less less now he takes that into consideration if you're from out of state you've got to find a place to stay you might have to pay blah blah, blah. so I'm working on the details of that but um, and you stay about two to three weeks in California two would probably be what I try to shoot for and then go home um, just because of expense but um, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited. Um, I won't have to wear these um, things anymore. I mean, I hope you can see that. <laughs> I wear them every day of my life, all day long, because they make me feel pulled together. And the reality is, a year from now, my skin will be as tight as that, and I will be able to... I, I'm going to give you a non-skill victory example today. Okay, I want you to see what I'm wearing. Now, this is a dress I picked up at the thrift. I thought I would need it in California when I went to visit my daughter. Okay, look at the length of this dress. I do not wear things this length because somebody could see my little things underneath if I lifted them, if I flounce too much. I always wear dresses about here. They hit me here. They hit your leg. They feel the fabric feels nice on your leg. You never have to worry about them seeing something that's cut up to here, like the under things. But with this dress... And I've been wearing it tonight just walking around the casino. I feel it against my leg. And it's not, you know, when, a year from now, I won't have to worry about anybody seeing anything because it'll all be, it'll all be me. It won't be a little thing underneath me holding my legs in. So today walking around even in this was such an on scale victory because I felt the flounce about knee level instead of way down at mid-calf level. I know that seems like a silly thing to people, but you know what? It's not a silly thing to me. It's a wonderful thing. So that's my scoop on my Dr. Katzen visit. Uh, I, I have to book some time to see him. I even talked to them a minute about the ablation because Carrie Dela Cruz had a burn thing done here and it took away all the wrinkles and I would really love to have that done. You know what? And maybe I'll do it on my second procedure. But because it's only like, you know, $1,000, $1,500 and believe me, it'd be worth it. Um uh let's see um it was a great day today it's gonna be an awesome night tonight i cannot wait we've got the comedian we've got diva tanya and the burlesque show we've got probably another presentation or the click bicycle i think hope hopefully that thing's going to be given away i hope it hadn't already been given away um and it's going to be rock and dance in time because i'm ready to dance i am ready to shake it i'm ready to do a brick house and you know i love i i haven't danced in two years um, since my before picture, which if I had right here, I'd pull it up and show you again. But um, I'm excited. Um, oh, I did have something done today. I had a, an arm wrap. Now, I won't say good or bad or different. It's a good product, and interesting, but the lady said, let me do an arm wrap for you. And they measure you before and they measure you after. And granted, it took an inch off. And if you did more and more and more and more, it's better and better and better. But in the end, I still have the same arms. I mean, and they tried to tell me that you know, they could do as much as plastic surgery could do. And you know what? I don't think so. Um, and I'm going to get it. I'm just going to, I mean, you know what? I'm 53. I feel 35. I feel 30, actually. And I'm not going to waste another year wishing I was something I wasn't. And, and this is my chance, and I'm going to take it. And so that's it. I'm going to go upstairs and get made up now. I'll make another video in a minute and um, show you Rosemary getting ready. I think I'm going to take my camera upstairs and see if we can't get some Rosemary prep time. She's staying up with Banded Fern tonight or, or getting prep time for that. And um, um, hopefully she'll be with me tomorrow. And in a couple of days, I'll have Trish, WLS Trish, uh, spending the night with us. And we'll be visiting on camera too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Sally. I'm going to try this again. I'm here in Banded Fern's room in the penthouse apartment and with Rosemary and Fern and they're getting ready. We're getting ready for the big doodah. Here we go. I'm going to do it one more time. There they are. Say hello. Hello. I'm fixing my hair. Hi.
Don't they look glamorous? Is that enough bling for everybody? This is the bling night. Remember, we've all been talking about thanks to Fern who fixed my eyes. So I have a little more nighttime smoky thing going on. And I'm very excited about going. And um, we'll see you uh, after the party and let you know how it all went. It's going to be a rocking good time. We're going to see David Tanya and the burlesque show tonight. And Allie Ray and her comedy preamble. And uh, I don't know what else is going on, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of dancing. Doesn't dance, Sally dance. look gorgeous? Thank you. Thank you. Somebody she tell me. She looks absolutely beautiful. I'll oh, show my shoes. Oh, oh, my shoes. Let me see if I'm seeing. Dorothy, there's no place like Where are those shoes? There <laughs> they are. Are those your feet? Where are they? Oh, Move me. them. Right. They are not going to see your feet. Oh, my God. They're beautiful. Oh, my God. Where did you get those Fresh shoes? Out of thrift. Oh, my God. Mama Rose knows how to shop, people. You do. Did you do? Mama knows how to, how to shop. Mama Rose has this had a is wonderful a, This is from the thrift, too. Don't it you all look came from the thrift. It's, you're stunning. You're I did my own hair. I it's stunning. I want you all to see all the bling in her hair. I Wait think a minute. Take this wrong. Can you see the things in her hair? I don't like this boobs hanging out like this. Oh, boob well, talk. Do it. You have that thing. <laughs> Boob talk! Oh my Should we God, check your boobs? boobs? It looks like I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> no, it does not. It does not. I like it. Oh, you look stunning. And if I had... Oh, and next year I will have some and then you'll all be sorry. <laughs> you'll see the scariest boobs in town. No, you won't either. But anyway, here we go. One more final. Let me just do the camera thingy. There's everybody working on the thing. Hi, have a good evening, you guys, because we know we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Wish y'all can be here. Me too. Next year, don't forget. <laughs> Next year. Next year. Onward. Onward. Okay, guys. Check you out later. And um, think of us as we're dra dancing until we drop. Okay, bye. Woo, are you getting sick yet? There you go. Hit that button.